Hello everybody and welcome back to the video. This video I'll be showing you everything you need to know about animal husbandry in Green Hill and please note that I'll be covering beekeeping in a separate tutorial. Now to get started you'll need to craft a blowpipe and some arrows. The blowpipe is crafted using a bamboo long stick and two rope. The arrows are crafted by combining a bamboo stick and fiber. For the arrows to be usable you'll need to build a frog chaser and catch a live frog. Drag the darts onto the frog chaser to get them ready. You'll unlock the blueprint to the pin by crafting a blowpipe or arrows. Now you can breed with capybara, taper or peccary. The blowpipe can be used on animals such as jaguars or caiman, but it'll take absolutely forever to get one killed. I do hope the devs reconsider adding a way to kill larger animals easily with the blowpipe, because I think it does have a lot of potential. Now, when it comes to natives, I believe you can't kill them. In the Green Hull Lord, the natives are immune to the dart frogs, so this does make sense. So you can shoot the natives until you're purple, but you won't kill them. So shoot the animal with the dart and wait for it to pass out. Now you'll have to tie it using a rope and take it back to a pen. To feed the animal, you need to use the feeding troughs. The water trough is filled by rain, which means you don't have to give your animals water when it's rainy season. You can feed the animals any plant-based food that the player can eat, including some additional flowers. I'd say it's a waste to feed the animals things like mushrooms or brazil nuts, as it doesn't really add a lot of substance. i found that the cassava bulb is by far the easiest way to fill your animals' pens, and the animals will die in about 1-2 to two days without food or water. If you harm an animal in a pen, all animals in that specific pen will lose trust in you. Animals slowly gain trust over time by having enough food and water, but will gain trust faster if you keep their pens clean. Animals will become sick very quickly if you don't clean their pens. You can remove their poison by cleaning the pen. When an animal's trust level is above 30, it won't be alarmed when you come too close to it. When it exceeds 70%, you can start petting them. As soon as it's above 90%, you can start calling the animal. Now, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or intentional, but as soon as your animals leave the gate, their trust levels drop rapidly. Which kind of makes the call feature useless because as soon as they leave the pen, they lose the trust required to call them to you. Now, as soon as the animal's trust is above 95%, it has the possibility to reproduce. It may take some time for the animals to do their thing. Once ready, the animal will have a specific icon displaying that it will soon reproduce. Now, in my experience, this takes about 4 in-game days. And if you ask me, the baby would easily walk through this fence, but what do I know about kids? So before I ended the video, I wanted to mention that I uploaded a third video to my new Forest channel. So if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you could check that out. But for now, that's all I got for today. Thanks for checking out the video, and see you in the next one.